소소하게 떨어지면 너로 보는 샴푸 So please free me God let me find solutions Don't let these calluses from work just be a nuisance Tight grip on the moment No slack, no give, no looseness Trusting in my Yo, what's good critiquer? Click, click Yo, y'all knew this was coming, man. Y'all already knew this was coming. It's Bobby. Bobby, hold up. Now, this was a song you guys told me that was on Show Me The Money. Now, I'm going to try to react to Show Me The Money. Um, You know, I just don't want to get copyright or nothing. I just got copyright on Youth, uh, Youth With You with Lisa, and they blocked my video, so I got to go put that on Patreon. But, um... You know, if they do, then I'll just go put it on Patreon. Uh, you guys let me know anything else by Bobby, though. Um, I know, you know, you guys want to show me the money and whatever else. I got to check out Icon in general. But I wanted to kind of check out each person and then check them all out together at the same time. So, you know, try to give me a song by each person first, if that's cool. <laughs> Don't hate me for that, bro, but I feel like that would be really cool to put it all together you know what i'm saying but let's check this out man uh you guys have been hyping this up telling me it's fire you know just waiting for me to do this so i'm sure it is bro i already know what this guy is capable of i already know yo for all my newbies make sure you hit the subscribe button we dropping content very very frequently you already know how we do it over here too. We react to it first and then we break down all the lyrics, make sure we don't miss any content. So let's go, bro. Uh, oh, this is hype. Oh. Uh, the tempo. Oh, he's about to spit fast, ain't he? Oh. Oh. His delivery, bro. Why is Bobby always snapping? Like, he's gay. He paid homage to Mike, bro. I'm done. I'm done, yo. My guy is my guy is killing it right now, bro. Yo, I love his flow and his his deliveries, bro. He be yelling. Ah, man. Ah. Yo, man. Oh my god. Yo, check his tie-dye. I like that tie-dye, bro. Yo. What do you say about Mike? Let me say it. He said, I feel like Michael when I'm up on the stage. A legend on top of air. On top of the moon, walking all day. <laughs> but he's saying like I'm working all day, but he's also saying like, oh my god, bro. Like I'm on top of the moon because I'm famous. Yo. Let's get it, bro. But my guy better calm it down for his house party just destroys his whole crib. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
이건내 목소리 정적과 그 개그 깨지 한 마리 개새가 무대 위 찢어 열정과 패기 아, 정신 나간 하루 깨야성 나 몸은 쟁취 Holy shit I love it baby Save me Hey y a n so mad 그래봤다 멈춘 기분이 비기 옆에 정신의 이름 본능이 책임면 내일 비어 비비로 패고 난 무대 난 비트 위 광진 앞에 소외 관람 간지를 감히 가서 못해 I feel like I'm not going when I'm up in the stage It's going to be a legend now we get some walking all day Man 남자면 철시적 포지션이 정성 위 지금 내가 뭐를 하지 느낀다면 follow me Hold up 친구 불러 모아 오늘 봄도 밤새 휴지 뿌리 너무 퇴장할게 갈지 지금 내 기분은 완전 철사하게 떨어지면 너로 번호 샷하게 친구 불러 모아 오늘 봄도 밤새 트래피 is hell 나 기분은 너무 퇴장할게 지금 내 기분은 완전 철사하게 떨어지면 너로 번호 샷하게 Switch the tempo, okay? <laughs> Yo, my dude got messed up. Yeah, pizza upside down on the floor. Yeah, Yo, you know you had a good night. You got pizza upside down on the floor when you wake up. What? That's a thick pizza, bro. I would have filled someone up. Yo. His delivery. Dude, one thing about Bobby that I can always appreciate, absolutely, is his deliveries, bro. Like, he'd be yelling stuff, switching up the deliveries, like, going hard. But when he wants to, like, really show you, like, you know what I'm saying? It's turn up time, I'm going hard. He hits that yelling delivery. God damn, it's, it's so hype. It's so hype. He's got a great rap voice. But yo, I feel like the tempo switch, like right there at the end, was really, really dope for the song, bro. Slowed it down real quick, then brought it all the way back up and dropped it again. And it was hard, man. Super hard. All right, so let's catch. Let's catch all these lyrics. Uh, hey, he's already spitting bars, bro. Already spitting bars. I'm just standing, but cool drips down my body. <laughs> you know, I'm standing, I'm cool, bro. But if you're thinking about something dripping down your body, you're usually thinking of sweat, but he's saying I'm standing. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing, but cool drips down my body instead of sweat. You know what I'm saying? I'm just cool like that. That overwhelming feeling I give is like a monster truck. Okay. I mean, yeah, when you be yelling, bro, y'all are just rented trucks. He's saying your overwhelming feeling ain't real. Y'all are just rented trucks. Y'all don't like real monster trucks like me. You know what I'm saying? You guys try to act tough and try to act like you're overwhelming, but really we can see right through it. My guy's saying he's got all the dots, you know what I'm saying? He connect all the dots, delivery, flow, and content. You know what I'm saying? What do you got? Then he said, conquered the stage. I flew around like a bomber. What is this, like a little mannequin guy? You get it like a bomber, like a jet. I flew around like a bomber. When I conquered the stage, pretty much saying he blew up the stage. I can outstrip a lightning bolt. 
Okay, so outstrip means move faster than. So I can outstrip, I can move faster than a lightning bolt. Y'all can't even be thunder. I planted it. Huh? Yo. So he just called himself a lightning bolt and said that y'all can't be thunder. Like, I knew you guys were going to react. So like, you guys aren't the thunder. I'm the thunder. I'm the lightning and the thunder. I planted it. I knew that this reaction was going to come out of y'all. Y'all were going to get loud like thunder. <sighs> That's a bar. That's a bar, bar alert. Yo, what is that? Are those marshmallows and what? Dude, what combination is this, bro? And then they got water balloons. Dude, that's a lit party. I've never been to a house party with water balloons. <laughs> One thing I did notice is that in the beginning, there's a bunch of broken CDs on the ground. And I think that's supposed to represent, you know, all these broken CDs are rappers that he don't like, or or music or artists that he thinks are trash. So he broke all the CDs. So whatever rappers he's talking about when he says, you know, y'all are just rented trucks. I think he's talking about whoever CDs are broken right here. You know what I mean? They're, it's the same person. And I don't think this is shots anyone in particular. This is just competitive rap talking. You know what I mean? This is just being like, I'm better than y'all rappers that be talking stupid. Every rapper pretty much does this. Oh, Hold on, bro. Let me look up this. who made this beat, bro. It's just way too hard. This was produced by Shockbit. So shout out to Shockbit, bro. Oh my God, this song is hard. <laughs> so trippy, bro. <laughs> Notice how he did the rum, you know what I'm saying? Whatever word he said, he made it sound like he was taking off, like a like a rum, but he was just speaking in Korean. It's super dope. Ah. Yo, hold on. What did, what just happened right here? That is why y'all trying to trip me out, bro. What the? F I thought there was a person right here. Whoa, the blender like blended backwards or something? That is scary. What is that? And then the card flew into his hand. Okay, so he flicked it, and then they just put it in reverse. Why are you trying to trip me out like that, bro? Yo, his flow, bro. He is flowing like godly right now. He said, All the ways of a rude dog. People wearing the colored glasses get their nose twisted. Ooh. I think right here is he's dissing everyone that looked too far into RM and Bobby's beef. Think about it. Colored glasses, 3D glasses. That's got to be what he's saying. You know, 3D glasses make things pop. People wearing the colored glasses, like seeing too much. People acting like there's more to it than there is. There really is. Are getting their nose twisted. You just compared them to dogs, rude dogs and saying that their noses are wrong, so they're tracking it down wrong. Basically saying that they're getting me fucked up. Like, I wasn't trying to diss anybody. Dude, again. Again. Bar alert, bro. Bar alert. What? Yo, any, what, what's he got? Chucky over here? Dude, what's good with these mannequins? I think I got a fear of mannequins, bro. Like, just an uprising of mannequins? I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm turning up at the top. Only I can do this bomb attack. Oh. He's also saying maybe like he's turning up, like he's going even higher when he's at the top. Like I'm, I'm going even higher, pushing my limits. Ah, oh. yo, the mannequins, bro. You can try to follow me, but you'll just get crapped on and cry. <laughs> yo. 
Maybe saying all these mannequins he has in the video are like these fake rappers that get everything handed to them and they can't be like me because I write my own bars. I don't get anything ghost written. Dude, oh my god. Yo, my guy is turning up, bro. Yo, in the world of K-pop, one thing that I've noticed is it's it's not it's not really a thing where they talk about getting messed up in a cool way. You know what I mean? Talking about drinking alcohol, you know, smoking weed or whatever it is. You know, that's that's been prevailing in, in rap for a, forever, pretty much. But one thing I've noticed in Korean rap and, and, and Korean hip hop is that they usually don't talk about that. At least from what I've seen. At least from what I've seen. And my man is talking about getting drunk on stage. I'm the Jackie Chan of rap. And if you know... Uh, Jackie Chan has that one movie where he's a drunk guy the entire time. I can't remember what it is. is isn't it like... Didn't Jackie Chan make up the style, the kung fu style, drunken fist? He made that up, right? And then they kind of copied that and put that into uh, Boraicho, the Mortal Kombat. You know that Mortal Kombat character that throws up on everyone? He's a drunk. Drunken master. That's what it is. Drunken master. I haven't seen this. Isn't that funny, bro? I've seen Rush Hour. I think I've seen a few other Jackie Chan movies, but I, I need to see this, bro. This is like his, his most famous, ain't it? Drunken Master? I've heard about this. He said, welcome to my palace. Others just get jealous. I take you to a wonderland. You'll be my Alice. And basically he's just saying like, like girl, I got money. Welcome to my palace. Pretty much taking you to wonderland, girl. You my Alice. That line right there is gonna get all the girls like, huh? You take me to Wonderland, huh? The beat is alcohol. So he might be talking about actually getting drunk on stage, but he did say the beat is alcohol. So what he's saying is like, I drink the beat, bro. You know what I'm saying? I drink the beat and I'm like a Kung Fu master when I do that. <laughs> Spitting bars coming at you like a Kung Fu master. He said, if you feel me, follow me. Call your friends and gather. Let's party all night. Whoever throws tissues, you'll get kicked out. Throws tissues? Bro, you're worried about tissues getting thrown when you got upside down pizza in your crib? I thought you didn't care about tissues getting thrown. I feel like this probably means like, uh... Oh! Oh, I got it. So he's saying whoever throws tissues, as in whoever's crying and wants to throw those crying tissues at me, whoever's upset trying to blame me trying to say oh i just uh i just rm you'll get kicked out oh my god bro dude that is hard that is hard that's what i'm getting from it bro that's purely speculation but i mean for fans to overhype a, a beef i mean i can see why he get upset you know what i'm saying so they kind of deserve to get some shots and they said right now i feel so high if we run out order up a hundred champagnes uh. So he might be talking about smoking, but at the same time, you know, he's saying, if we run out, let's just get a hundred champagnes because I'm so rich, I can just ball out. <laughs> but at the same time, he's saying, like, I feel so high, like, you know, I'm high on life because of the, the situation I have in my life right now. And I'm at the place where I am. Like, look at this, bro. I don't think he cares about tissue getting thrown around. There's no way. <laughs> This is like the litest house party ever. There's fog in the crib. By the way, I wonder if he's playing guitar right here as he says something about Alice because, you know, he's thinking about Alice and Chains. That's my band, bro. The delivery switch Yo, the beat drop is just tremendous. For him to spit all these bars and then drop a beat like that, I mean, come on, bro. How can you not enjoy this song? He said, call your friends and gather this party all night. He said that again. 
Whoever blows a whistle, you'll get kicked out. Oh. Whoever tries to say that this party should stop, you'll get kicked out. Whoever's trying to be a referee, you know what I mean? You'll get kicked out. I'm trying to ruin the vibe. Pretty much. Anyone trying to ruin the vibe is getting kicked out. It's pretty much what he's been saying this whole time. Dude, this is hard. This is just straight turn up. Ugh. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> yo, he said, "Everyone, get down. Let's go." But yo, look at his face. <laughs> yo, I'm wondering if he's like, if he's like, "Oh my God, like this is way too much." <laughs> like I didn't realize everything's about to get destroyed. <laughs> It looks like he's having fun for a second, then he's like, oh god, <laughs> like he just woke up. Yo, who does he sound like, bro? I'm thinking he sounds like somebody. Yo, you know who he sounds like a little bit? He sounds like 6ix9ine if he had bars. If 6ix9ine had a little bit of bars, he'd kind of sound like this. I'm, I I can dig his voice, bro. He's got a legendary rap voice, bro. Bobby's, Bobby's got a dope voice, man. He said, this is my voice, polar opposite of silence. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> his voice radiates, bro. A dog is on stage, barking up passion and fighting spirit. Barking up passion. As a rap, it's my passion. You can see my fighting spirit. A crazy rude dog's animal instinct takes over my body. Basically saying when he's on a stage, he's going crazy like a dog. Like animal instinct takes over my body when I get on stage. Holy, I love it, baby, shaky fat. Oh, okay, someone down in the comments said that, didn't he say, holy shit, I love it, baby, shake that fat ass, shake that fat ass, dance on me. Yeah, that is lit. I haven't heard a rapper yet from K-pop talking about shake that fat ass on me. Bobby's knocking off some things I haven't heard yet, talking about smoking and and drinking and and girl like damn, like shake that ass on me. Like no one has really said any of this yet from what I've heard from K-pop or K-hip-hop. Hey, dance on me. When I rap, I'm intoxicated. Feels like I'm next to a plane. So again, like I think he's going along with this metaphor that. You know, the beat pretty much messes him up. The music gets him drunk. So it feels like I'm next to a plane. Like he's high, you know what I'm saying? He feels high. And dude, my dude is in the Matrix right now. He's saying I'm from the Matrix, bro. Oh my God. Shout out to Keanu Reeves, man. That man's got John Wick 4 and uh, a Matrix 4 coming out this year. If it still comes out, they, they finished it all. Crazy. Losing my mind, my instincts take care of me. His animal instincts, bro. He keeps calling himself a dog like he's DMX. <laughs> Without Bobby on the stage or beats. Can't dare to reach the crazy coolness in front of the audience. He's saying, without me, you can't reach my level of swag. You can't reach my level of coolness. The cockiness, bro. And what's he playing? I tell you right now, if he's playing Tekken, he'd get that ass whooped. Get that ass whooped, bro. I need to get a thing for my Xbox so I can record me playing Tekken because I will have I will have the funniest commentary. I swear to you about me just beating people's ass on Tekken. Like, yo, if any of y'all got Xbox, we should definitely play Tekken if you got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna beat y'all. I don't want y'all to unsub to me if I beat y'all, but <laughs> you know, just hit me up, bro. Uh I feel like I'm Michael when I'm up on the stage. See this, I love this part, we already broke this down. My dude looks like Raiden right here from Mortal Kombat, speaking of. 
some fighting games. Look at this trippiness, bro. This is why I love K-pop and K-hip-hop, man. They always have some trippy stuff going on in the videos. So it's like eye candy to look at. On top of the moon, walking all day. Man, if you're a man, the first position is on top. If you ain't first, you're last. That's pretty much what he's saying there. Then you can do something if you feel me. Follow me. Hold up. He's saying once you're on top, then you can do something. Or probably saying like, then you can say something. You know what I mean? You know, don't talk your trash about me when you're not on top. And that's just that's just rap competition talk. You know what I mean? All right, let's catch up. Yo, hold on, bro. I need to go back for a second. My dude did it again. Is that his thing, bro? Because I will love that about Bobby. If he just charges up on every track, I'm here for every single track. When he goes, <laughs> he did that in the uh, the one track, the YGGR track, I think it was. Sick, bro. Like, listen to this, bro. Listen to him charge up right here. Like, this is straight out of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Look how trippy that is, bro. Are you kidding me? So awesome. This is what I noticed. What is this, bro? He's got a hole in his chest? Why does he have a hole in his chest? Is he saying he's got no heart, like he's cold-blooded or something? And how come this ninja's a demon? I got a lot of questions. Let's go. Yo, that's me too, though. You remember the era of wearing socks with your flops? That is me right there, bro. I used to get made fun of from some people being like, why are you wearing socks with your flops? You're not supposed to wear socks. Nah, bro, you're supposed to, man. I don't want to see your feet. The sandals like that, them, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to wear socks, but I don't care what no one says. Flip flops, no. That's weird. You're putting uh, that little thing in between your toe and between your sock, and that just looks stupid. But those types of sandals, yeah, bro. Now, check this tempo switch right here. That's trippy. Ah. ah, the the slowness about it, but it's so hard. Like it's slow, and then he just picks it up, and the flow is just. He's just, god damn, bro. Oh my god. And he just picks it up and just gets louder and louder with his voice. His voice is just epic, bro. It just radiates. Just radiates, bro. Like I said, he sounds like 6 9 to me. He says, When I go home, call me a designated driver. There's something at the end of this night. So when he says, When I go home, call me a designated driver. I think what he means is, like, you know, I'm driving straight. Like, I have a destination to go to. Like, I got goals, you know what I'm saying? When I go home after I party, you know, I got goals. But he also might be saying, like, I'm not getting messed up. I'm the designated driver for my friends. But I don't really think he's trying to say that. 
there's something at the end of this night, like, after, you know, we party, at, after this whole party, you know what I'm saying, there's something at the end, and I think what he means by something, and what he means by there is something at the end of this night, I think he's trying to say that, you know, after this night is over, I still have a life, like, I'm not just a party guy, you know, I got stuff to do, there's something at the end of this night, like, the night can be over, and after the night's over, what happens next? Oh, well, I'm going back to work. You know, I got goals to achieve. You know what I'm saying? We're partying right now, but I still got I still got places to go and places to be. You know what I'm saying? There's something at the end of this night. I don't just keep partying. At least that's what I got. And then a hand comes out the dumpster. So I think this is for all the haters. And you notice how you said something about tissue earlier, and there's tissue hanging out the dumpster. So he's saying like, if you're throwing tissue, oh, okay, so when he said you're throwing tissue, it might not have been like after you done crying throwing tissue, that's what I got. But he might've been saying since you're so trash, you know what I'm saying? You got tissue and, and, and stuff stuck to you. Like if you're throwing tissue, if you're talking trash, if you're talking trash, I'm gonna kick you out. Dude, that is lit. I didn't think about it like that. All right, let's finish this out, man. But one thing I want you to notice is his voice. Like, if I haven't emphasized it enough, Bobby's got a hell of a voice, bro. Yeah, brother, let's go! I'll switch it up. Here comes the, the claps. Back to the flip pizza. Damn. My guy got messed up. So in his dreams, he's over here in a box, like, just tripping his balls off, pretty much. And damn, that's everyone's slump. Dude, that looks so gross. <laughs> that looks disgusting. It looks like there's food all over all of them. You know, people try to tell me that they can speculate that this was about RM. Like, there were shots in there about RM. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think so. At all. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Like I said, the lines that I said, you know what I'm saying? Just a tiny bit. I think this is more of a diss to his fans. If anything, definitely not to RM. It's just more of a diss to, to you know, fans trying to say, Oh, you attacked RM. Blah, blah blah and try to try to end his career like try to blow it up and make it a whole situation that it wasn't and i i really don't blame him at all i really don't you know what i'm saying you guys pushed a non-existent beef it might have been just a little jab but y'all you know what i'm saying y'all going crazy but yeah man this was sick bro i didn't know bobby is pretty much korean 69 with some bars god dang bro can, can his voice get any better like you know what i mean He's got epic voice, epic. I know that there's a freaking stupid K-pop war type stuff that goes on, but like, bro, I would really like to see a Bobby and Sugar collab, Bobby and August D collab, you know what I'm saying? They would go ham, bro, they would go ham. Even a Bobby and RM collab, that would be go, that would go crazy, man. I wish they would do that so people would realize, you know what I'm saying, not feed into it anymore and really know that they're they're cool like some people i i'm i know that there's some people that still think there's a beef going on behind the scenes when that's not true we need a song to prove that so you know what i'm saying i hope that happens but yo bobby moved up a couple notches on my on my favorites with this one definitely moved up a couple notches i'm pretty excited to get into icon because all y'all keep saying like oh that's big bang's like baby right there 
that's like Big Bang, you know, remastered. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited to look into them, bro. But like I said, I want to look into each person. I need to see more B.I. I, I want a song with just B.I. And whoever else, if anybody else got solo, if they don't even all have solo songs and whatever, I get it. But let me get a few solo songs in there from what I can. And show me the money that's on the way. So be on the look for that. I'm going to do what I can. You know, I don't know if I should start from, I just, I don't know if I should watch the entire thing. I don't know if I should start from episode one and then just keep going. If I should just jump into like the semifinals when it gets real, real hard or whatever. I don't know. But you guys let me know what I should do. Comment below anything next by Bobby or anybody in Icon or anything else, man. If you want me to react to any, just let me know. Let me know. If you like this video, leave it a like. I really appreciate it, man. And bro, I cannot believe where we at right now. We up to 8,000, baby. 8,250, baby. Let's go. Let's go, man. I just grew like 300 subscribers since I've been on last. Not even. It's like 400 almost. That is crazy, bro. 400, I'm growing more subs each and each day. Like each day, just more subs are coming each day. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I, I uh, redecorated. You guys probably noticed. I got all the greats up here, bro. Wu, M, Nas, you know, the greatest to ever do it. Greatest artist ever. Michael Jackson, Credence, freaking lit band, bro. If you don't know Credence, please do yourself a favor. Sinatra, don't sleep on oh my guy. Gotta get... We doing some more Frank soon. Uh, Johnny Cash, bro. Johnny Cash. If he's country, then he's about the only country that I love. And Bob Marley, bro. My, my guy, Bob. You ain't never, ever felt like happy until you listen to some Bob Marley, bro. Learn your reggae, bro. Learn your reggae. Do yourself a favor and go learn your reggae. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm, I'm going to do all these guys. I don't know if I should just do them with the vinyl record because i got a vinyl player maybe i'll just do that because you know the sound out of a, a vinyl is just pure and amazing so i might check out all of these if you want anything specific by any of these guys let me know and you already know bro you already know the deal dropping videos as soon as we can very frequently so stay tuned make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell critic out